Greetings and uh, salutations. So it's uh, Ken again. It's Ken again. So today we're going to do some some qigong. We're going to do the uh, the ba duan jin, the eight pieces of silk brocade, or the the eight treasures. So this is a really old uh, set of qigong. Been around, some say it's been around for thousands of years. So it's it's there's quite a few variations of it. It's quite a popular one. There's quite a few variations from the different martial arts schools, from the different schools of qigong. Uh, so I, I practice a few different ones. We're going to do the one. Uh, this one in like, kind of like a Buddhist style, uh, Shaolin Kung Fu style, which uh, anybody who uh, knows anything about Chinese martial arts knows that Shaolin Kung Fu doesn't come from Wudan. Wudan, oh, this is the Wu-Tang Clan, the band, uh, the Wu-Tang Clan, Wu-Tang. Uh, Wu-Tang, uh, or Wudan, is a, a mountain range in China where they are said to be the, the birthplace of internal Chinese martial arts, and um, more, uh, more specifically, Tai Chi. So I'm going to do this in a Buddhist Shaolin uh, Kung Fu style, but I'm very nervous. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to start with my feet together like this. This is the, the Shaolin way of doing things. If you really struggle here, you can turn the toes out to the side, do it in a more Tai Chi way. Or if you really struggle there, you can do it in a, a, a wider stance. It's kind of made it, make it work for you. But I'm going to do it in the, with my feet together here. So we're breathing in through the nose at all times, breathing into the lower abdomen. Head feels as if it is suspended from above. Uh, pull, have the feelings of the ears being pulled back, the lifting feeling of the head, keep the jaw parallel to the floor, sink the chest around the upper back. Uh, when the arms are close to the body, always keep a small gap underneath the armpits, so at least let the air get to your armpits. Have the feelings if you're pulling your belly towards the back or sucking your belly in and pushing the, the sacrum, uh, this part of the spine that makes up the, the pelvis with the ilium or the iliac here. You're pushing this area forwards, pulling the belly towards the back, so fill in the lower back and fill this whole area hanging down. Sink the ribs to fill the lower back. I said breathing in through the belly, uh, breathing in through the breath, breathing in through the nose to the lower abdomen, nice deep abdominal breath. So you're really trying to engage your diaphragm and your pelvic floor with your breathing. So, okay, so we'll start. So you're gonna interlace your fingers. Sitting down, pushing the pelvic area forwards, uh, pulling the belly towards the back, breathing in. So my hands are gonna go out a shot here, but my palms, are facing up towards the heavens. Make sure you're not sticking your wrist out, your, your ribs out or curving in your lower back as you do this. Breathing in, coming down, sinking down. Make sure the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. Breathing in, up, stretching up. Again, make sure you're not sticking the chest and the ribs out and curving in the lower back. Breathing out, coming down. Just keep sinking the ribs to fill the lower back, pulling the belly in towards the back. Suck the belly in, pushing the sacrum forward. Make sure the chest isn't sticking up. Stretching, breathing in. So in Tai Chi, we don't like extremes. So you're not gonna stretch out to 100% of the weight uh, as far as you can stretch. This is Shaolin, this is Buddhist. So we're stretching a little bit further than we would do with our Tai Chi, but we still don't want to be ex uh, stretching to our extreme. Breathing in. This is the, often called the, the Buddha holds of the heavens. This time, sit down into the heels, turning from your centre, turn to your to your side. And breathing out. Uh, we tend to start with the left in Tai Chi, but this is not Tai Chi, is it? Breathing in, turn to the to the other side, breathing out, coming down to the centre. So breathing, really feel as if you're pushing your arms up. Push the second forwards, pull the belly towards back, sit down, and then turn to your centre. Feel the strength of the earth behind these arms. So you're turning from your centre, from the area that we call the Dan Sea, and feel pushing down through the very centre of the feet. Those acrosh points in the centre of the feet we call the Yong Chen points, the bubbling lava points, the acrosh points associated with their, the kidneys. Kidney points on the bottom. Breathing and pushing up. Sit down, moving from your centre, turn to the side. Breathing out. Center. So you don't have to necessarily coordinate the breath with these movements. So if you practice these uh, for long enough, the breath will naturally coordinate with the movements. The breath will naturally coordinate with the movements. Okay, so we're going to do the, the archer now. The archer. So we're going to go from side to side as if we're pulling uh, an arrow into a bow. Okay, so we start like this. I want you to make your, uh, make your left hand, make your left hand into a, into a fist. Make your right hand into this, uh, what they call the secret sword hand. Uh, like James Bond here. Okay, so we're going to step out to the side. So uh, you don't have to step too wide here. In Shaolin Kung Fu, they, they tend to step out into a really wide horse riding stance, some boot stance, but you don't have to step out so wide here. And again, make it comfortable for you. Uh, I've taught tens of thousands of people over the year, and you get a lot of people say, I can't do that, or, or they believe that they can't do something, so they stop coming to classes or stop practicing. 
it's make it work for you. As long as you're applying your principles of your art, you are doing it right. And with time and practice, you'll be able to uh, step out further. But it shouldn't be rushed. It shouldn't be rushed. It should be a gradual process, okay? So sink down onto your, uh, so you made your left hand with fist. So sink down onto your right leg. Sink onto your right leg, step out to the left. And breathing in as if you're pulling an arrow into a bow. So pull back, push forward, settle down in the center, look into the distance, breathing out. Imagine you release the arrow and watch it fly into the distance and step back. So do the other side now, so make your right hand into a fist, left hand into a secret sword hand, step out to the side. So you sink onto your, onto your left leg, step out to the side, breathing in as if pulling an arrow into a bow. Looking up at about 30 to 40, 45 degrees, showing to, looking into the distance, breathing out. Imagine you fire the arrow and watch it fly into the distance. Stepping back, okay. Make a, again, change to the other side here. Hands together, secret sword hand here, step out to the side. Breathing in, pull an arrow into a bow. Pulling an arrow into a bow. Shooting into the distance. Watch it fly. Watch it fly into the distance. To the other side. Okay, sink. Sink down. Connect your center, that area that we call the dantian, with the very center of your, your left foot. Step up to the side. Breathing in, is it pulling an arrow into a bow? Looking up, shooting up into the distance. You want a straight line between your elbow and your fingers that you're pointing at. Breathing out, release the arrow. Watch it fly into the distance. Step back. Change. Sink. Step out to the side, breathing in, pull an arrow into a bow. Look into the distance. Make sure the tailbone's not kinking back. We're still pushing the sacrum forwards, pulling the belly towards the back. Breathing out, release the arrow, watch it fly into the distance. Okay, so I, I don't tend to count uh, how many repetitions I do uh, when I'm doing my Qigong. If you do like to count, uh, multiples of three, so three, six, nine, 36 is a very popular one in, in, in Qigong. Okay, so point your palms towards each other. Fingers point towards the ceiling. Breathing in again, my, my hands are going to point, go out of view, my upper arm's going to go out of view here. I'm just going to point my, when I push up, I'm going to point their fingers to the opposite side of the body. I'm going to take the hand right above uh, the, the, the crown of the head. Okay, so sink down, breathing in, pushing up. Breathing in, again, make sure the ribs aren't flaring out, the low back isn't curving in, and breathing out. This is holding up heaven and earth. Breathing in, pushing up and pushing down, take the hand to the side. And breathing out. I know in some uh, some variants of this set of Qigong, I'm going to drop the hand down in front of the groin here, but this one I'm going to take my hand down to the side. Breathing out. Again, make sure you're not curving in the lower back, you're not sticking the ribs or the chest out, you're not letting the, you're not letting the sacrum kink backwards. Breathing out. Holding up heaven and earth. Breathing out. So I, this is the Buddhist, uh, the Shaolin uh, Kung Fu way of doing this. When I do it in more of a Taoist way, I do it slower, and it takes a lot longer to go through all the movements as well when I do it in a, in a Taoist way. And, and it's not stretching when I do it in a Taoist way. It's just moving out to a maximum of about 70% of your range. I'm going out to about 80 to 90% range of my movement as I go through these stretches. So I was leaving a little bit there, a little 10%. So I'm not counting the repetitions, but try to do equal amounts on each side. So I started pushing uh, my left hand into the air. Or you start putting your left hand into the air, so you finish pushing the right hand into the air. Dropping down. Okay, so I want you to, well, so you can do this in there. So you can bring your heels together. So turn the toes out. Turn the heels out, heels, toes, heels, toes. Until you get down into a, into a nice uh, marble stance, horse riding stance. Make sure you're keeping your good posture. So I've got my feet parallel to each other. If this isn't at all painful on the knees, you can turn the toes out to the side. Okay, push the sacrum forwards, pull the belly towards the back, relax the hips. And sink down until the hands are onto your thighs. Fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside here. Okay, so watch out for your lower back here. We're gonna go forwards and let the head hang down. So don't let the lower back curve and don't let the sacrum kink backwards. Support your upper body using your core rather than the erector spinal muscles in the lower back. So just drop down. You can let the head hang for a little bit here. Sink the chest round back, pull the belly towards the back, push the sacrum forwards. And then breathing in, turn to, I'm gonna to go to my left here. Turn to the left, coming up. And looking over the left shoulder, push the sacrum forwards, pull the belly towards the back, then breathing out, drop down. Take the weight down to the very center of the foot as if duck, ducking under a fence here, then breathing in. Bring yourself up, feel the strength of the earth behind this movement, pushing up, and looking over the other shoulders. Oh, then, then turn to the center. We'll turn to the center in this one, don't we? Then drop down over the knee. Make sure the weight goes down through the center of the foot. There's a drop in, ducking under a farmer's fence here, breathing in, bring yourself up. Look over the shoulder and then turn so you're facing forwards. Drop down. Make sure you're using your core here. 
to move the body. You feel the strength of the earth behind the movement. Feel this spiraling energy coming up through the body. Look around the shoulder, sit down into the center. Drop down, keep the hands on your thighs. You want to bring your body as upright as you can. Breathing in, come up, look over the shoulder, turn to the center, nice and upright. So sitting down, drop down, drop down, look over the shoulder, into the center, drop down, do it, and then another round here, another one on each side. So ducking down, really, really push the second force, pull the belly towards the back. Feel this spiraling energy coming up through the ground, looking over the shoulder, and feel it pulling you back to the center. Breathing out, drop down, neutralizing down, as if ducking under a fence here, breathing in, push yourself up, using the strength of the earth, is spiraling energy, look up the shoulder, settle down in the center, and drop down, just drop down to the center this time, drop down to the center, let the head hang, let the head hang, and then pushing from, push your sacrum force, pull the belly towards the back, push the face forward, like a tortoise coming out of its shell, and breathing in, feel a nice back stretch here, coming up, and then you can come up, you went down, the way they went down, Okay, and bring yourself to, to feet together. Okay, point the fingers towards each other. So that was rotating the buttocks, that one. Rotating the buttocks. Okay, fingers point towards each other. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. Pull the belly towards the back. Push the second forwards. Breathing in. Push up through the body and push your head. I'm going to go to my left side first. Make sure the chest isn't sticking out. The ribs aren't curving in. Breathing out. Pull through the body. See if you can feel the body pulling back to the to the centers. Feel the, the tensegrity, the biotensegrity of the body. Breathing in. Pushing up. Feel the strength of the other. Pushing the head to the side. Push the arms aside, make sure the chest isn't sticking out, the lower back isn't curving in, the sacrum's not kinking backwards, breathing out, pull back to the center. Feel, feel the body, so you're stretching the body out as a complete coordinated, connected unit. And breathing out, see if you can feel the body just pulling back, feel the elasticity of the myofascia pulling you back to your starting position, breathing in, pushing out to the side. You can imagine you're balancing a bowl of water on the top of the head. Breathe out, this is the wise owl turns its head. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. See if you can feel the strength of the earth behind this movement. It's not so much you moving from your neck, you're not, of course, moving from your neck, but see if you can feel like this spiraling rotational force coming up through the body from the ground, pushing the head to the side. So you can uh, go out into a into a marble horse riding stance again. Horse riding stance. Okay, make sure the tailbone's not kinking backwards. Okay, pull the belly towards the back. Pull the belly towards the back. Push the sacrum forward, sitting down, relax the hips, the knees and the ankles. Make the hands into quite tight fists and bring the little fingers onto where the, the ilium, the blades of the pelvis stick out here. Make sure that you're not sticking the chest out and curving in the lower back. Then breathing in, I'm going to punch on my left foot, my left fist forward first. Breathing in, punch and stare at your knuckles. Then open up your hand, push forward to the centre of the hand like I am now pushing forward. And then turn the hand over so a nice stretch all the way down the arm. And then seal the Lao Gong point to the centre of the hand with a thumb and bring the hand back in. Breathing in, punch, stretch forward, stare at your knuckles. Push forward to the center of the hands, so pushing forward to the Lao Gong point to the center and turn the hand over, rotating here, nice and rotate, stretch down the arm, then seal the Lao Gong point with the, with the thumb, draw the hand back into the hip. Breathing in, stare, you'd never punch like this, you'd break your thumb, this is Qigong. Push forward to the center of the hand, turn the hand over, seal the Lao Gong point, draw the hand back in. Breathing in, stare, glare at your knuckles and push forward to the Lao Gong point in the center of the hand, turn the hand over, stretch down the arm, seal the Lao Gong point, and draw back in. Again, you'd never punch like this, you would break your thumb, this is for, for health. Turn over, seal, draw back in. Breathing in, stand, push forwards, turn over, seal, hand in. Breathing in, stand, glare. This is charging fists with eyes glaring. Push forwards, turn over, seal, draw back in. So you can go down the way you came in, or you can do a nice shot. And then have a couple of normal strokes this week. Okay, so is that, is, how many have we done there? So we've done uh, the Buddha holds up the heavens, we did the, the archer, then we did the holding up the heaven and the earth, then we did the rotating the buttocks, then we did the, the was out turns its head, we just did the, the charging fist of eyes glaring. So we're on to seven here. Okay, so on to seven here. So feet back together, feet back together. Breathing in, I'm gonna again, my arms are gonna go out of shot here, but my palms are just facing forward. Breathing in, make sure the chest and the ribs aren't sticking out, the low back isn't curving in, then breathing out, coming down, so the immortal strokes his beard. Then just take your hands onto your lower back, supporting the lumbar section of the back, then breathing in, do an incline backwards here. Make sure you're going straight backwards here. 
Make sure you're not putting all pressure onto the lower back. Then breathing out, tense the buttocks and the belly muscles to bring yourself forward. So not you're using your core, not the lower back. And keep your legs quite straight here. And going down, rub the hands down the back of the legs, and then touch, touch the toes if you can. Touch the toes. Touch the toes. And bend the knees, breathing in, pull the belly towards the back, push the second forwards, breathing in, push yourself up. Breathing in, coming up, 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 up again. Make sure the chest isn't sticking out, the ribs aren't flaring out, the lower back isn't curving, and the tailbone's not kinking backwards. Breathing out, coming down. Take the hands onto the lower back, supporting the lower back, push the second forwards. Inclining back, so you're stretching all up the front of the body. Right? We've got the superficial front line if you want to bring back in and change. And breathing out, tense the belly muscles, the buttocks, your core to bring you up, not using the lower back. Straightening legs, rubbing down the back of the legs here, like you're smoothing down your trousers. Keep the legs straight, so nice stretch all up the back of the body here, the superficial the back of the body. And bend the knees, breathing in, push yourself up, pull the belly towards the back, push the sacrum forwards, breathing in, push yourself up using your core, your centre. And breathing out, coming down, 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 down. Support the lower back, breathing in, inclining backwards, make sure you're going straight back here. Using your core to support your upper body, not the lower back. Then tense the belly muscles, the, muscles, the buttocks, use your core, breathing out to bring yourself up, straighten the legs. Uh, if you don't have problems with these, of course, going down, smoothing down the back of the legs. If you have a stretch, moving all the, the back of the body, touch the toes if you can. Bend the knees, breathing in. And then use your core, your center, your deep frontal line to bring you up. Breathing in, and breathing out, coming down. Okay, and the last one, just to shake out any, uh, the myofascia, the connective tissue, all the internal organs inside the body uh, that are connected to the spine. Okay, so this one is just uh, uh, vibrating the heels. Vibrating the heels. So you're going to interlace the fingers behind your back and you're going to push them and start like that. So feet shoulder width, hip distance apart, pushing up onto your heels. So push down through the heels, push up. Onto your toes, stretching up, and breathing out, just drop down. <laughs> just let your arms swing, let your arms swing, let your arms swing. Okay, so interlace the fingers behind the back, turn the palms so they're facing down, stretching up. Onto your tiptoes, up, 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 and then just <laughs> make sure the tongue is on the roof of the mouth as you do this. You don't want to be biting your tongue here, tongue on the roof of the mouth, lips and teeth together, so you don't want to be. Uh, chomping the teeth down on each other as well. Uh, make sure the sacrum is tucked forward, the belly is pulled towards the back. And be careful if you do have any problems with the back here. Okay, breathing in, pushing up, lengthening. And breathing out, just, <laughs> just let the arms swing. Okay, let's swing. okay, we'll do one more of them. Pushing down and up to the tiptoes. Up, 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 up. And then just and let the arms swing. Let the arms swing. Okay, rub hands. If you've got clean hands, you can wash your face, wash your face, do the, the neck, shoulders, belly, 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 the shoulders, to shoulders, to the lower back, lower back, buttocks, we will crease, thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, if you can get down there feel needs some special attention give it a go give it a go so that's all i've got for today uh, i didn't time that i hope it didn't take too long there uh, but i will say goodbye for now so i will say goodbye for now and go away and practice bye for now. Oh.